Yo, I don't know if you're still hating on Black Clover, but if nothing else, that cover page for chapter 297, the latest chapter, was absolutely beautiful with Noel. <laughs> Yo, Tabata, I see you, fam. I see you. But anyway, welcome everyone. Sanjay Uche here, of course, dipping my toe back into Black Clover in terms of, you know, covering it. Of course, the latest chapter 297, The Descent. Mm, we continue the Noel greatness, it seems. But before we get into it, of course, if you do enjoy what I have to say, of course, leave a like and a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Black Clover as we inch near to chapter 300, a decent milestone, if I do say so myself for Tabata. But anyway, this chapter in itself, like, whew, honestly, I feel like by the end of this chapter, we are kind of setting the stage up for Noel's character to get that much... Oh, probably not that much needed push, but just that other, another level of push in terms of like development and conflict when it comes on to her character, whether it be internal and external, all things going back to the roots of the conflict with her family as we are introduced to Megicola coming out in this chapter. And yo, trust me, if there's nothing else as per usual, like Tabata knows how to design devils, like... <laughs> like what can i say like from the first set of devils from <laughs> from zagreb till now honestly like it's like looking at the designs they they're very sometimes they're sometimes very unsettling or it's like you're just like shit like these things really look creepy so as per usual the art when it comes on at least when it comes on to megicula in this chapter mm, very I didn't think Magicula was a female devil though, but I guess it all works out. <laughs> or who knows, maybe just a female, a male devil look like a, I don't know, I don't know. But the point is, I love the design of Magicula by the end of this chapter, and I love what it means for the story as it relates to Noel. Because in the grand scheme of things, if you've watched my video when I talked about, um, when I was talking about the defeat of Dante, by Magna, I was essentially pushing the idea. Not even, I, I mean, it's it's common knowledge by now. Black Clover does justice when it comes on to its supporting cast. And I think Magicula arriving by the end of this chapter kind of reinforces that notion again when it comes on to the character of Noel because obviously Magicula is like the source of, in one shape or another, the source of kind of like Noel's problems when it comes on to her family. So I know in some cases it feels like there could be more of a i don't know i don't know if it if push is the right word or i don't know more uh, more organic build up but i think the whole conflict between noel and having magicula come out just noel and magicula essentially i feel like it needs a push and i think having magicula come out by the end of this is the start of that so let's see where that goes of course the chapter does focus heavily on the finalization of the fight between noel and vanica and yo the fact that noel could beat vanica in her you know saint valkyrie armor her spirit die form you know it says a lot about how powerful you know how powerful noel is right now and i don't think she's actually used her ultimate magic just yet so obviously i think they're setting things up for her to use the ultimate magic against megicula so that's going to be fun because at the end of the day when i think about it wasn't vanica using 100 percent of megicula's power so it's like what's going to be the difference here granted it is heavily showcased by the end of this chapter when megicula comes out that or it's implied by Tabata that, you know, Magicula in her, like, fully manifested is going to be stronger than Vanica using 100% of her power based on how, you know, Charlotte and, and Rill was, like, implied that, yo, the curse, it's it's getting way powerful. It's impossible. <laughs> it's over 9,000. <laughs> over 9,000. But it's going to be interesting to see how Tabata, like, just fully fleshes out that dynamics. So I guess in retrospect, is it that the Dark Tried, even when they get 100% of the Devil's power, they... Yeah, he needs to clear that up. Unless it's going to be a thing where, yeah, they can use 100%, but it's going to be a thing like, not what the power is, but how we use it, and being the actual owner of the power, they can, you know, use it to the best of their abilities. So, unless it's going to be a thing like that. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm looking forward to seeing 
how Noel interacts and fights against Magicula. So that's going to be fun and interesting. Now, Lori Pechica, of course, you know, this is an arc where it seems like the stakes are at an all-time high. So, as Lori Pechica and Vanika's life seemingly are going to be ending at some point in this arc, honestly, I think it would be best if one of, well if Laura Pachica dies as well just to have some sticks not, well not even sticks but some repercussions some I think the loss of a character like that for Noel could push her push her character even more is what I'm saying so as much as I, <laughs> as much as some pairings would be good to see you know Laura Pachica with Dang it, I forgot my lightning boy name. Dang it. Don't crucify me. But you know who I'm talking about. Because he was in this chapter by the end there. But... I think having Laura Pachika die might be in the best interest of, you know, other characters and pushing them to the next level in terms of like their mental and psychological and emotional development. So that's going to be fun to see by the end of it. Huh. But all in all, I thought it was a decent chapter. Um, mm, to be honest, I was, I, I mean, I guess it's in the nature of Black Clover, but I don't know, for some reason I was expecting a longer fight between Noel and Vanika, but it is what it is. Um, know that Megicula is here, who am I to complain, right? Um, so yeah, I like the setup, I like what they're going for, and I like what this potentially means for the characters of Noel and potentially improving... Are having some repercussions for the sake of development for the supporting cast through the potential death of Lori Pachica. So that's going to be interesting. And just generally speaking, again, I just love that this chapter reinforces the support for the supporting cast. Even though, you know, Noah's kind of like a main character, but you get what I mean. So yeah, again, I enjoyed it. Loved the art, loved the design for Megicola. And I'm looking forward to seeing what chapter 298 has to offer. But anyway, Sanjay Chia, let me know what you think. Of course, if you, have, if you haven't checked out my thoughts on Boruto episode 205 and 204 from last week, you can definitely check those out because, yo, hype for last week. This week was decent. So, yeah. Sanjay Chia, let me know what you think. See you in the comments and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Mm-hmm. <laughs>